Good morning. So, um, I thought today I'm going to do a video on a couple of tips on how to feel better throughout your day and how to have a good life. Alright, so, I've started by waking up this morning at 6 o'clock. I usually do that every morning. And then I have my lemon, hot water, and apple cider vinegar. Then I go do some exercise. At least half an hour, if not more. Um, and yeah, that's how I start off my day and make myself feel really good. Hi guys, so my second tip is don't be afraid to listen to your body. <laughs> don't be afraid to listen to your body, okay? So that means that if you're going for a run and you're feeling sore and you don't want to keep going, stop. Start walking, okay? Don't keep pushing yourself if you're not ready for it. When you're ready for it, you'll be able to do it, okay? And it may take baby steps and it may be annoying, but just work with yourself. Don't beat yourself up about not being able to do things because you're not ready for it yet. Everyone's different and you may see some people and be like, oh my gosh, you know, I wish I could do that and I wish I could be like that. But, you know, if you work towards it and you really want it, then it'll, in baby steps you'll get there, okay? Um, I kind of relate that to myself with yoga. I really want to be able to do those headstands and everything, but I'm working towards it because I can't do it just yet. I've got to build my upper body strength okay so yeah tip number two um, work with your body and don't push yourself too hard unless you're ready for it okay so my third tip is um, try and soak up at least 30 minutes of sun each day so that can either be physically lying in the sun make sure you don't get burnt put on sunscreen and or um, going for like a walk or like a run in the sun. Sometimes a walk in the sun, like for half an hour, is so nice. Even like do it without headphones and just take in everything. Just take in your surroundings and just appreciate, you know, life. Okay, so my fourth tip is start the day off with a good breakfast. So many people forget to have breakfast well. Forget. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Breakfast is my favourite meal of the day. I love it so much. Okay? So, um, having a good breakfast doesn't mean just having a coffee or, you know, having a smoothie just for it. That's not going to hold you. And you're getting no protein or no fibre, substance, nothing. You're getting nothing from that. You need a good breakfast. So, something like oats um, with fruit or you know make yourself a big fruit salad with some um, granola on top but make sure it's not you know um, the granola packed with sugar or anything make sure it's a nice one you know you've either made it yourself or you check the ingredients um, it's really important and also um, don't go having those cereals that are really really high in sugar because you're not doing yourself any favor okay tip number five I know this might be hard for some people, but try and limit yourself to one coffee a day. Because when you have a coffee, it stimulates your heart and tries to overwork it. And I know like sometimes people like really, really like, you know, when you have a coffee and you get a high or, you know, just like the taste of it and everything, but it's actually really bad for your body if you have too many. So. Try and substitute it for either green tea or another type of tea and that way you're not having the caffeine and your body will thank you. And also sometimes when you have too much coffee you find it hard to get to sleep so that also, you know, um, makes your body thank you and the next day you won't be tired because you wouldn't be able to sleep from all the coffee you've had. Also try and have your coffee before 12 o'clock because otherwise you know, you're going to feel it that night. Okay, tip number six. Treat your body how you would want to be treated if you were your body, if that makes any sense. <laughs> no, really, what I mean is, okay, treat yourself every so often, and that's my next tip, you know. Number seven, treat yourself every so often. Um, 
But yeah, back to tip number six. Treat your body how you want it to be treated. Like if you treat it well, it will treat you well. If you treat it badly, it will treat you badly. It's quite simple. Okay, so follow that tip. Now, tip number seven. So, treat yourself every so often. Okay, so if you go days on end not treating yourself, trust me, done this before, you're gonna fall into the trap of potentially binge eating. Binge eating or binge treating, <laughs> I guess. This is a stage you'll hit that you've just deprived yourself for so, so long that you'll just see whatever you find and you'll get all this food and you'll just scoff it down, okay? It's not nice, trust me, okay? So what you need to do is every so often, treat yourself and don't feel guilty about it. When it's a treat time, treat yourself. Okay, tip number eight. You need to have rest days. I know sometimes people are like, oh, you know, rest days, I can't have them and um, everything, but don't do that. Don't fall into that trap. You need rest days. Otherwise, when you go to do a workout or, you know, you want to have, you want to study well or whatever, you know, do well in a test, you're going to be so drained because you're just going constantly. So, you need to have rest days. And when you have those rest days, you rest. Simply. It's quite simple. And in regards to a workout on rest days, you either do like you know, something light like a walk or um, yoga, something not too, you know, physical, um, physically demanding, demanding, as it's a rest day and you appreciate that rest day and you look forward to it every week. Because otherwise, if you're working out, you know, every day, you're not going to have a rest and your workouts aren't going to be as great. Okay, second last tip. Tip number nine, okay, you need to be organized in regards to your life. If you have an organized life, you'll have an organized life, <laughs> pretty much. No, but I mean like, okay, say for example, you are out and you're not sure if you're gonna be able to eat or not. You need to make sure that you're, if you, have a special dietary requirement or something like that and I recommend that you take snacks take snacks wherever you go you can never fall short if you have snacks if you don't eat the snacks that's okay take them home you can eat them the next day or the next it doesn't matter just make sure that you're organized and if you're organized your life will just seem so much easier I don't mean being organized you know as like uh, at, at this exact time I'm gonna be eating and at this exact time I'll go to the toilet that's stupid but you know organize to the point where you know what's going on and you know what's happening and you're prepared for it okay and tip number 10 this is my favorite of all of them simply enjoy life I know it may sound cliche cliche but you live once make the most of it what have you got to lose Seriously, if you, you know, are older and you're sitting there and you're like, oh, I wish I did this when I was younger. I wish I did that. And, you know, tell your grandchildren this and blah, blah, blah. What are you getting out of that? You've wasted your life. Live it now while you're in the moment. Don't think about the past. Don't think about the future. Don't waste away the days. Don't count down till this time and be like, oh, I'll be happy when this happens or... You know, when I get this mark, I'll be so happy or, you know, when I'm this weight or whatever. Seriously, live in the moment. Otherwise, you're going to be counting down those days and when you finally reach that day, what, what then happens? You're going to be counting down to something else. You're never going to be happy with yourself. You're wasting your life away. So, please. Follow this tip. I think that's the most important one, to be honest. Right. So, for some people, some of these tips might be harder to follow than others. But, I can assure you that all of these tips, if followed, your life will change. Not, maybe not dramatically, but for some it will. But, you know, 
little baby steps. That's all it takes, little baby steps. Okay, so I encourage you to implement um, some of these steps into your life. If you already do them, well done. If you don't, then just try a few. You know, maybe one every week. Give yourself one every week and see how that goes. And your life will improve, okay? And if it doesn't, well, then your life is already good. And I'm not saying that if you don't do these that your life is bad. I'm just saying this is what I follow and it works really well. Um, so yeah, that's all I have to say today. And so, as usual, please subscribe to my channel. And I cannot thank you guys enough for, um, you know, liking my videos and watching them because it means so much to me. Like, without you guys, I wouldn't... Um, Anyway, so my next video is going to be coming out in three days. Bye!